first we're going to start on the ace unit with a power head. We're going to tear it down, uh, show you all the components, and put it back together. First, we're going to take the muffler off. It just slides on, slides off. Next, we're going to take the shift block off. There's four. First, we'll work on the shift block. We're going to pull our poly tube out of our push lock fitting. Then we can take our muffler horns off. Take our diaphragms out. And take our end caps off. Now at this point, we want to take our Allen wrench and stick it through the air inlet. The, the rod has a hole in it to, to hold it while you take the two pistons out. 7 16 nut driver or socket. And just unscrew it. We pull our piston out. We'll do the same thing on the other end. Now. At this point, we can pull our Allen wrench out. We'll take our two 7 16 bolts out to hold the two bodies together. And then we can pull our two bodies apart and pull our valve rod out. At this point, we would inspect everything, change our O rings, O rings on here, on our piston, Buna O ring, and a O ring here. All this comes in the kit. Inspect our body for, for wear. Check the bores for wear. Then we're gonna change our O-rings, change our O-rings here, and then we can just start reassembling. Put our two halves together. I'm gonna reinstall our Allen wrench. into the hole. Hold the rod. After we change our O-rings, we can reinstall. And, we're, and we want to use uh, white lithium paste to lube everything up. And then on the end of our rod, we want to use a blue Loctite uh, because eventually we'll be taking these off again. And we, we don't want to use the red. So screw these all the way up. And tighten them up. We're going to do our and just remember when we put the pistons in we want to make sure to lock tight both of those. After we do that, we can put our screws back in to hold the two bodies together. We can pull our Allen wrench out. Now we can reinstall our diaphragms and we want to lube these up with uh, the lithium paste. Install them with the lip going down. Just like this, all the way to the bottom. We're gonna change our O-ring here. Make sure when you put the, the horns back on that they are lined up with the hole. There's an opening there. Press it down in. Same thing with the bottom one. Just make sure the exhaust port's open. And reinstall our Allen screws to hold it. our end cap and our top cap and we want to flip it upside down and we want to replace all of our o-rings here and this all these o-rings come in the kit and we want to hook our poly line back up but at this point after all those are replaced and everything's tightened down we can move 
to the main part of the pump. Piston out of our cylinder. We want to inspect the shafts, inspect the cylinder, make sure there's no gouges or nicks out of it. And at this point, if everything looks good, we can replace them. both over or two over on top and bottom, and then the one in the center. And we would lube this up really good before we put it back in. We're gonna take our air switch out. We're going to take the other half of the air switch out. There is a spring. And there's an O-ring for the cylinder. At this point, we're gonna turn it over. Take our clips and we're gonna pull this guide bushing out. Oops. We just push it through. When we pull it out, you're gonna see it's, it has an O-ring on the outside and it's gonna have one on the inside. Those are all in the kit. We wanna make sure and change the, this one and the one on the top. So, Change it, slide it back in, make sure to put lube on it. Make sure it's in the groove, you heard it snap in. At this point, we're gonna have our air switch, which has a spring, then it has a urethane O-ring on the end of it, then it has a spring inside. Now, all these O-rings come in the kit we want to make sure and lube this with a super O lube. And we want a light film of that on this switch and on the bottom part of the switch. So at this point, we can go ahead and put our, we're going to turn it back over. We're going to put our spring in first. I'm going to put our plastic retainer that's, and then our O ring next. And our plunger is going to go in this way and then we're going to just it goes in and we're going to snug it down i'm going to flip it back mm -hmm. we'll put our other end of our switch in and try not to lose the yellow spring we want to make sure it's in there it goes in be careful, this is stainless steel. This is aluminum. It's an O-ring seal, so it doesn't have to be very tight. Just snug it up. Now we're gonna flip it back. Now we've changed our O-rings on our piston. We're gonna lube everything up, lube it down in here. We'll put our piston in. Take our cylinder and lube it up. Push it right down over it. This top is exactly the same as this. So when you change all these, you're gonna change these the same. Change this O-ring. Change the bushing O-rings. And slide it all back together. The top nuts on. And make sure when you tighten these to kind of go a little at a time. And make them even when you, when you go all the way down. Next, we're gonna of our shift block, make sure our O-rings are here. And start one. Reinstall our muffler. To slide over.
Now our power hit's complete. 